Hello, welcome back to my channel. We are gonna do another haul video. I know I've been doing these a lot. I feel like I'm finally getting into the slowdown period finally. I go through ebbs and flows. I've tried to do forced like no buys. Those are never successful for me. But I do reach a point where I get burnt out. So I think I'm kind of getting into that where I'm content with what I have finally. So hopefully there's a slowdown with the hauls. I have a couple of things that I got through Ipsy. I think they're supposed to come today, but I figured I would just do this anyway. So yeah, if you want to see what I got, stick around. If you're new, welcome. Make sure you subscribe. Definitely come back and let's jump in. Okay. I was talking and I thought I was recording and I was not. So I went ahead and swatched. This is the old Ritz and you can see the new one. Like you can still get product off. I was saying before when I was talking to myself, you can still use them when they first dry out. Like I had mine for probably a year when it was dried out and I was able to get more product off, but they do reach a point where you can't get much. So there's the difference with those. And then this one is Ladybird. And this one you could, you could probably use either one of these as a highlighter, but I actually have Ladybird on today. But those are going to go in my everyday makeup bag, which is currently on the floor. But let me pull out the old one. And you can, I don't know if you'll be able to hear, but it's very like dry. Not much comes off. So they do in their age reach a point where you just can't get much, which is where I was at with that one. So it was time. So those are the two things that I got from ColourPop. I did get a couple of things. I got, I've gotten a few things from Ipsy. I got another Schwing liner from the Balm. This is in brown. I have the black one and I do really like their liquid liner. So I decided I would get the brown one. Excuse me. Let me move some stuff. I think my black one is in my caboodle here. So I'm gonna put the brown one in there with it. Okay, and then I got another set of these brushes from Game Beauty. Now, when you order them off of their website, it's actually a five pack. And on their website, they retail for about $35. I'm looking for the one that I was missing because I thought I lost it and then I realized they were doing a different set. I'm assuming for Ipsy, but I'm not real sure. The one that was missing was the E03, which is the angled brush. Looks like this. So I did buy one. So I actually have two complete sets. I have the E1 through E5, and then the six through 10, because these are my favorite brushes, like this is in the other set. So when I saw that they still had these on Ipsy, I decided to get another one of these. Now, I'm not gonna go on and order a second angled brush. I just wanted to have two complete sets. These are my new favorite brushes, like for eyes. So they're in their own little cup with a few extras. So. The one that I use the most is the EO2. Kind of looks like a Sigma E25, if I were to compare it to something, but I really, really like these brushes a lot, so. This set of four, I want to say, was like 18 on Ipsy's website. So I don't know how cheap that is, considering you can get the whole set for 30. I mean, it is cheaper, I guess. But I like them enough that I got another set of those because the, what did I say? The you know, two is my favorite. So I like having having two of them. So I picked that up and then I have another palette from Game Beauty that they had on there that actually isn't even available on Game Beauty's website. TikTok got me. I watch a lot of Glam Lights lives on TikTok. They do drawings for giveaways, like you can win stuff. I've never won anything yet, but they had this marked down. I'm, I don't dislike Kiss, I do like the box comes in there's the band and then there's the outside like I think that's cute I could see maybe keeping that I'll throw it over there okay but yep there's the lenticular 
I just liked the color story of this. I think I got it for 20. I don't remember the little clear sheets got the flames and stuff on it. I just liked the color story. It reminds me a little bit of kind of what I thought the, where is my Friday the 13th palette. It's a little brighter of a version, but I like you've got a black and a white, and then there's some red, some purple, some green, some blues. Here is, I feel like it's a little bigger, but it's got some elements. Like I always feel like this taupey row is more purple than it is, but I like that this is a little more swampy. So this is definitely an expansion of this color story. I don't think like the shades are exactly the same out of here, but definitely I'll have to do some comparisons. I still need to do a video with the, with that one. So I'll actually leave this out so we can compare, but that's probably, I like the color story, the Friday the 13th. So that's probably why, because I kept looking at it and it looks pretty. It's just definitely got more color there. It feels like there's something in my eye. It's probably glitter. I don't think I see an eyelash, but something, something in my eye. Okay. So next we have a bunch of palettes. So let's start off. My friend Christine was kind enough to send me a package. She sent me a few of the ColourPop five pans. There was, I think, three that she had gotten in one of the mystery boxes that she already had that I did get in mind. So she sent me those, and then she sent me this cool Inglot magnet that is actually really strong for when I, like, depot shadows. Like, you have to be ready to catch with this thing. It doesn't look very big, but you, you don't even have to be close. And if those pans are magnetized and will come out, and aren't glued down, they're coming out. Cause I actually swapped out one of the shade, the blue shade that I had put in my Star Wars palette for a different one in that. So thank you so much for this. She got, I think she got two of them. She got one for her and one for me. These are phenomenal. So on the Inglot, I'm assuming if you go on Inglot's website, it's a Inglot Freedom System Refill Remover. So I think they make theirs to be taken in and out. So yes, definitely, but be ready to catch because again, I wasn't even close to the ColourPop palette and I got down and that's like shot out. So be ready to catch. It works really well. But she also sent me a palette. So this is the ABH, what was this called? Fall Romance. I looked at this. This got mixed reviews. This is a really pretty color story. So I'm excited to have it and try it. So thank you so much for that. And then she also told me when the Sephora sale was going on that they had the Melt Nightmare palettes on sale. Did I need these? Absolutely not. Am I going to use them beyond one time? Couldn't say because I haven't used my Beetlejuice ones a lot, but I have them. So I ended, they were both marked down to 30 and then I got an extra 10%. So they were not quite 50% off and then got an extra 10 and then got free shipping. So it was a good deal. My husband said they should have made them like this to where you could put them side by side like they did with Muerte and the, uh, the other one with the skull. But I think they kind of missed that a little bit, but I definitely did not want to pay 58 a piece. So I got both of these with the sale price and the extra discount and the free shipping was less than what one palette would have cost me with like shipping and all that. So here's the Halloween one. Again, I liked them not enough to pay almost $60 a piece. I don't, I like Melt's formula. I don't think it's bad, but they definitely don't have my favorite formula. So I don't think it's worth paying full price. But yeah, if you can get them on a deal. So again, here's the Halloween one. Yes, that was Halloween Town. And then this one is Christmas Town. And what does it say on the back? I didn't even look at them that close. Like I pulled them out of the box and showed my husband. Let's see. Wasn't it terrifying? So there's the back. That's cool. I think I have the boxes down here. And then I have made a terrible mess of your holiday is the back of the Christmas. And then we have Santa Jack and Zero. 
and then the inside looks like this. So let me try and hold them up together because that was another thing when they launched. They look similar, like they're definitely good companions to one another, but they're not. They're heavy too, so this is going to be. So there we go. So you'll have to let me know if you want to see looks with these, but she was like, oh, they're on sale again. So that was the only thing I picked up during the Sephora sale were these two. Again, I am I love Nightmare Before Christmas. I'm happy to have them, but was not going to pay full price for those. I got another Fantasy Cosmetica palette. This was the other one that I really, really wanted. So this is the Druid palette. It's one of the more neutral ones. So pretty. The other one that I'm looking at is the pink one. So I may get that down the road, but the artwork is so pretty. Um, I showed this in my Ipsy video, but this was an add-on item. This is the Ace Beauté Rustic, no, Mystic Romance. I'm making things up. This was their Valentine palette, I think, from this past year. So there's that. And then the last thing, Gourmand Girls was doing a huge, like, 55% off on some things. If the sale price was under like 20%. I think you could use an influencer code with it. I ended up picking up the Silent Night palette, which is the one I had talked about. Definitely not needing because the color story is very similar to the Christmas Eve palette from Odin's Eye, but for $26, it's normally, what was she selling these for? 54, 55, something like that. So for 26, And I don't think the shipping was very much. I decided to get it anyway, even though I definitely don't need this. But the completionist in me, she was doing the sale to kind of clear out some of the older collabs because I think she's got some new launches coming. So she's trying to make room, but definitely didn't need this. So yeah, that is everything that I got or was sent. Thank you guys so, so much. Let me know what you thought. If you want to see videos, like dedicated videos on any of the ones that I showed, please let me know. And then if you want to see a video of me using this so you can see it in action, I definitely can. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much. Again, if you are new, welcome. Make sure you subscribe. Definitely come back. And yeah, I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of your day. Hopefully I will see you in another video very soon. Bye, everybody.